Hi friends, welcome to Genuine Encoder YouTube channel and in this video I will show you how to implement a fading transition between two scenes in your Java FX application. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to implement a fade out and fade in transition between two scenes. So for example, this is the first scene and when I click on this load second there is a fade out transition and the second scene comes with a fade in transition so overall there is a fade transition between these two scenes so let's see how we can implement this for that I'm going to start a new project so let the name of the project be something like uh, fading I have already fading scene so fading scene tutorial tutorial so that's okay now we go to files and uh, so this file just starts the main uh, stage and scenes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these two fxml document and I'm going to reuse the existing two scenes from my previous project so uh, basically the scene one uh, let me copy this for file first so and copying and pasting it right here so refractor copy refractor so okay let me explain this so the scene one fxml file is the first scene that we are seeing in the application so it is nothing but a blue stack pane with a load second button and there is a label for first here so this can be anything so it, if you implement if you are implementing this fade transition in your project then this is the first scene so load second there is a load second button and the code there is a on handle button click action so handle button click and uh, let me check the controller here controller is fading scene dot scene one controller so our controller is scene one controller in order to explain these things i am going to remove the code and i will do that once again so now it's empty the root pane is nothing but this stack pane so we have a stack pane here and the name of the id of that stack pane is root pane so that is nothing but this root pane and let us come to the second scene which is scene 2 and this is the scene that we are seeing as the second after the fade transition currently its opacity is set to 0 I will tell you why so let that be 1 uh, for now let us set it to 1 and uh, it also have a root pane ID and this is scene 2 so as the basics let us come to the scene 2 controller and there is a fade in I will remove it for now so that's it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set this first fxml file to scene one scene one dot fxml file so that's okay it will load this scene one dot fxml so let's come to scene one and what we want to do is when we click on this load second what button we want to apply a fade out transition for this stack pane and apply a fade in transition for this stack pane so for now let us do a fade out transition for this stack pane so uh, I am going to implement the uh, handle button action there is handle button action so scene one controller what we want to do is we want to fade out so make fade out for this current stack pane so it is uh, root pane so make fade out so uh, in order for implementing the fade transition we can use java fx fade transition i already made a video on fade transition in the animation tutorial go and watch it if you have some doubts on it so fade transition fade transition equals new fade transition so we are starting and the duration you can say the duration here i will set it on the next line so the fade duration and uh, depending upon the speed requirement you can set the duration here so set duration and in my case I am going to set the duration to something like uh, one second so that will be 1000 milliseconds and we want to set the node on this default and transition to be applied so we are applying the transition on the root pane so it is fade transition dot set node and we are applying the transition for root pane so I am going to set it as root pane 
and one more thing is uh, we want to set from what value to uh, uh, the starting value and uh, final value so trade transition dot set from value so we are moving from total visibility to zero visibility so trade transition dot set from value to set to value and the two value will be zero so it will uh, apply a fade out transition so when we click on the button we will call the make fade out and it will uh, do this and fade transition dot play will initiate the transition let us run the program it is not complete but uh, let's check whether the fade out transition is working so there is an error let me check the error so uh, I, uh, during the copying I forgot to change the controller so we have seen one controller and we have seen two controller the problem was uh, it was pointed to the previous projects controller so that's why the error is wrong let us run the program again and as you can see we got the first scene and I am going to click on this load second so the fade out transition is working very fine now what we want to do is after completing the transition the fade out transition we want to load the second scene so for that I am going to write a method for loading the second scene so private void load next scene so for that we will have to inflate this uh, scene 2 and attach it to the current stage so for that I am going to do this parent second view so I am going to load it second view this is normal what I am doing here is normal fxml loading in JavaFX so stack pain fxml loader dot it's a static method so loader dot load then we are going get class dot get resource and we are giving the name so the name is c2 dot fxml you don't have to actually type it you can copy and paste it from the fading scene tutorial first file so this is what exactly i'm doing that so there's an error it will throw some exception so we have to use a try catch here so we got the second view as a stack pane and what we want to do is we have to get the current scene so scene cur current uh, no we have to create a new scene we have to get the current stage so uh, scene new scene a scene for this fxml file it is just like what we did here we loaded the fxml file to a parent then created a scene then create a set attach it to the stage so scene new scene equals new scene and the scene will be inflated with the second view so that's okay the last thing is we have to get the current stage so stage current stage equals uh, we can easily get a uh, current stage using the uh, root pane I mean this root pane component so stage root pane dot get scene dot get window I'm sorry get window so we got the current stage and all that we have to do now is attach uh, currently we are running with the first scene and we can change that with current stage dot set scene to new scene so it will remove the current scene and load the new scene so that is new scene so uh, we have completed the load next scene transition and all that we have to do now is to uh, add a listener so that whenever the transition gets completed I mean after 100 milliseconds we have to load the next scene so for that we can use fade transition dot set on finish there is an event handler so new event handler then after completing the transition we can use load next scene so it will load the ready next scene so that's it now let's run the program again right. so I'm going to press on the load second and you can see we got the second scene so uh, you can there is more thing that you can do if you want to apply a fade in transition for scene 2 the animation will be more fluid more better more good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a fade in transition 
So the problem is currently it is the opacity of the stack pane is 1. So there will be a glitch, some kind of a sudden transition in the opacity. I will tell you, when you see that you will understand it better. So let's just keep this opacity to 1 for now. And what I'm going to do is when we load that, when we initialize the section, we set the opacity value to set opacity to 0. So it can start from 0 to 1 during the fade in transition. And what I'm going to do is uh, make fade in transition. So there will be a fade of transition, and here there will be a fade in transition which will, uh, which will be better. So make fade in transition and for making fade in transition you can reuse the code from for the fade out which is very similar so I'm going to use this scene to controller fade out transition and here we don't want this set on finish because we are not uh, listening to the completion of the transition what we are we have to do is we have to set the from value to zero because we are moving from zero to complete visibility so invisibility is invisibility so set from value set to value that's fine so that's all you have to do for the fade in transition it will be automatically called when it is initialized so i'm going to run the program again run clicking on the load second so that's a fade out and that is fade in so it is okay uh, because we have set root root paint or set opacity to zero uh, you don't have to set the opacity zero here. Uh, let us say, suppose I haven't given this. And let's run that. Your second. There is some kind of glitch there. I hope you see that. So in order to remove that issue, just set the opacity to zero. So there will be no sudden uh, glitches. So that's it guys, that's how you implement a fade in transition between two scenes. In order to, uh, depending upon your speed requirements, you can change the duration to make it more fast or more slow. So I hope this video helped you to learn something about JavaFX and as always, thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos.